good afternoon everyone it is your english class and today we are going to study the second chapter of a grammar book that is verbs expressing the present so this chapter we are going to study let's start simple present form i we you they he she it means with the i we you we need to use root form when sentence is negative we should use do not then root form and with the he she it we need to use the third person singular form means like root form plus s o d s form like plays when sentence is negative we need to use does not then root form when sentence is interrogative we need to first auxiliary verb means do or does and with do or does we should always use root form okay so dear students here first of all formation is given so formation of simple present tense is that first of all we need to use subject then root form or third person singular form root form or third person singular form means root form is like base form and third person singular form is that when we add s or es with the root form like plays root form and plays root form plus s or es or we can say is third person singular form right and when our sentence is negative we should use either do or does according to subject if our subject is third person singular means he she it or any singular name we should use does and with that we should use not and with the rest of subject means like i we you they any like uh, more than one names so we with them we should use do and do not plus root form right and was when our sentence is interrogative means in which sentence we ask any question in that case first of all we need to use auxiliary verbs and auxiliary verbs for this tense are do and does so first of all we need to use either does or do according to our subject then subject then root form right this is the formation of simple present tense now let's understand how to use simple present tense we use simple present to talk about things in general not about something happening now but about something happening all the time so when we talk about the things means like which actions generally happen so for them we should use simple present tense right we should not use this tense which action is happening at present we should not use this action for that some examples are written here let's understand them i play the sitar but i don't play it very well so just we are telling about our general action means i do this work of playing the sitar but i am not able to play it very well second sentence does bharat take exercise daily so in this we want to know about the daily routine of bharat regarding the exercise so this is also general action so for such type of actions we should use this tense yes he does no he doesn't when we need to reply we need to use root form when we do not like we need to reply in negative formation we should use either do not or does not then root form second point to express scientific facts or permanent truths water boils at 100 degrees celsius it does not rain much in rajasthan so dear students whenever we talk something about scientific facts or permanent truths in that case also we should use this tense like water sorry water boils at 100 degrees celsius that's a scientific fact so for this we have used simple present tense you can see singular form we have used boils second it does not rain much in rajasthan so we are telling the permanent truth fact we are telling so in that case also we should use simple present tense so simple present tense has been used here it does not rain much in rajasthan third point in proverbs which have the force of permanent truths so whenever we say any proverb so in that case also we should use simple present tense because it shows the permanent truths like it takes two to make a quarrel birds of a feather 
flock together. These all two sentences are of proverbs. So in the proverbs, there is a sense of permanent truth. That's why we should use simple present tense in the proverbs. <coughs> Point number four, to express natural qualities, uh, processes and professional activities. In that case also, we should use simple present tense like fruits contain lots of minerals and vitamins, natural quality. So in that case also, we should use simple present. A dentist takes care of teeth, professional activities. So this means ultimately we have understood that whenever we express natural qualities, processes or professional activities, proverbs we express and scientific fact and permanent truths we express and general happenings we express that in that case also we should use simple present tense. Let's do this exercise. Given below is daily time schedule of Mr. Verma, the principal of our school. 7.45 reaching the school, addressing the assembly, 8 o'clock, 8.30 taking a round of school, from 8.45 to 10, 10 o'clock, meeting visitors, receiving parents. So some routine activities are written here. So let's see that what's written on the next page, what to do with this. Write the principal's daily routine in complete sentences like at 7.45, the principal reaches the school. So dear student, you have to do this exercise. So, Timing is written here and activities are written here of a principal and his name is Mr. Verma. You need to imagine that Mr. Verma is the principal of your school. And now you need to express these old activities of Mr. Verma in simple present tense. One example is written here, right? So you can say that at 7.45, the principal reaches the school. After that, at eight o'clock, he addresses the assembly. After that, at 8.30, he takes a round of the school. From 8.45 to 10 o'clock, he meets visitors and receives parents. So these students, half I have told you and half you have to do by yourself, right? These activities, these actions you need to use in simple present tense. Now let's come on the second exercise match words in column A with some words in column B. Write factually correct sentences. You can use verbs from the list given at the end. So dear friends, you can see that some words are written here and some verbs are also written here like point, and freeze and spread, travel, contain, pollute. And some phrases are written here and words are written here. So you need to match the like uh, phrases column from A um, from two. And you can even use some uh, verbs too. So industrial waste, flies, light, water, the needle of a compass, all citric fruits in column B, vitamin C at zero degrees Celsius, the atmosphere in a straight line, chlora towards the north. So let's match with them and after using these verbs. Okay. So first, industrial wastes. Uh, we need to mention here. Let me let me see that industrial wastes pollute the atmosphere. So pollute word verb we need to fill out. After that, we need to mention the atmosphere. Right. So you need to mention here. C part after one you need to mention here C and here also pollute you will mention C right next flies let me see which is which will be the right flies spread chlora chlora is a disease name so we can say flies spread chlora so we need to mention here E so that we can understand E part is right with the second number and spread also we need to mention here e part okay now let's come third third we have done light travels in a straight line three we have done and three you should try to do by yourself and soon i'll send the answer key then you can match the answers now let's come on the third exercise 
मैच वर्ड्स इन कॉलम ए विद दोज इन कॉलम बी टू गेट सिक्स प्रोवर्ब्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सम लाइक parts of proverbs are written here proverbs you know that as we use in hindi muhavre so some pro proverbs are he written here so we need to match the right part with the starting part of these proverbs man proposes time and tide money energy and patience new brooms brand child in column b dreads the fire sweep clean wait for none makes the mere go Uh, conquer everything. Go disposes. So let's match with them. Okay. So firstly, <clears throat> man proposes. It will match with man proposes. Go disposes. Right. Second, let's see that time and tide. Time and tide wait for none. Third, let me check. Let me understand. third will match hmm money makes the mayor go money makes the mayor go let's come on the fourth fourth energy and patience conquer everything next sixth the new broom sweep clean next uh, six sorry the burnt child dreads the fire right so dear student now you have to do one thing you have to find out the meaning of these proverbs okay and that's your duty so some i can let you know that some you have to find out like first is that man proposes god disposes it means that people makes plans but god determines how things will turn out when I mean, everything in god hand people makes plan that i will do this and i will do this but everything is in god hand and whatever he wants to do like he can do second time and tide wait for none means time does not wait for anyone it will go continuously next third was that money makes the mayor go so by the money we can buy everything by the money we can earn every we can earn a lot so this is the meaning of this three i have told you and uh, rest of proverbs you should try to get the meaning from the dictionary or from the internet now let's come on the fourth exercise a new student mona has joined your class you want to know about her work habits and hobbies frame questions that you would ask her with the help of the clue given below for oral practice so this exercise dear student you have to do just for oral practice a new student mona has uh, joined your school and your class so just you want to ask about her habits and hobbies so these clues you have to use and you have to frame the question sentences okay like which game like three words are here so by this you need to make a sentence in question form like you can say which game do you like the most right some i will let you know and some you have to do by yourself why like so we can ask why do you like this game second how often play we can ask how often do you play third where practice we can say where do you practice fourth what kind of movies see we can say what kind of movies do you see or watch fifth why not like movies we can say why do you not like horror movies or romantic movies right so five i have told you and rest of you should do you should try to do by yourself now please come on the next exercise exercise number 5 fill in the blanks with a simple present tense of the verb given in the brackets so dear student some verbs are written here in the brackets and you need to fill this passage right before starting this passage i want to let you know that b form is written here b form is written here so is am are is the first form of b is am are remember this is is for third person singular 
and M is for I, and with the rest of subject, we should use R. Again, I tell you, B form. There are three forms of so first form of B, which are is, am, R. Is we use for third person singular, M we use for I, and for the rest of subjects, we use R, like first person plural, second person singular or plural, third person plural. So for them, we need to use R. Okay, let's start. Pangolin or ant eater, B a mammal. So B form we need to mention, we need to say that pangolin or ant eater is a mammal. Is we need to use. Why we need to use is? Because we are talking about third person singular. Pangolin is third person singular. For third person singular, we need to use first form, right? First form means like first third form singular. Third person singular form we need to use. That is first form singular means SOES form. That is 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 a uh, first form singular form of uh, B. So that's why we have used here is. Pangolin or ant eater is a mammal, but differs from other mammals. Differs, D I W -F, F E R S. Differs, we need to mention because subject of this verb is pangolin, right? Pangolin subject. And according to subject, we need to use verb here. So, singular verb we need to mention here. Differs will come from other mammals in many ways. It has large. You know, dear student, have is a verb and first form of have is has and have, has, H-A-S and have, H-A-V-E. For third person singular, we should use has and with the rest of subjects, we should use have. So it is third person singular. That's why we need to use has. It has, H-A-S, it has large overlapping scales on the body, which protect so we need to mention here as it is protect, P-R-O-T-E-C-T, -E not S. Why? Because which protects, which is used for scales. Scales is our main subject, right? Scales is our main subject. So of course, scale is not singular, that is plural. So according to that, we need to use root form, means plural form, protect we need to use without S. Scales on the body which protect it in times of danger. The underside of its body has underside of its body. So underside is a third person singular that is subject of this verb. That's why we should use here has not have. The underside of its body has coarse hair. Right, students? If someone disturbs a pangolin, disturbs s verb you need to mention here d i s t u r b s disturbs because someone this is these are the third person singular noun someone anyone no one everyone these are the third person singular nouns right that's why we need to use singular form disturbs right dear students dear students some part i have told you and rest of you have to do by yourself right now, please, let's come on the next exercise and soon I'll send the answer key to after writing your answer with the pencil, you can match the answer. If there is a, any need of correction, you can do. Let's come on the present continuous form. First of all, we will understand about present continuous tense formation. So is MR auxiliary helping verbs we need to mention and main verb we need to mention fourth form of the main verb or even we can say it root form plus ing form or we can say it ing form so basically we need to mention either is or am or are according to our subject and after that ing form we need to mention and let's talk about like um, when to use is and when to use are and when to use am so if our subject is i so with the i it's a fix we need to use m and if our subject is third person singular, third person singular means any one name, he, she, it. If these are the subjects of our sentence, so we should use is. And if apart from first person singular and third person singular, any type of subject will be there. So in that case, we should use are right? Like we, you, they means first person plural, second person singular or plural, third person plural. So with them, we should use are. Right? 
And if sentence is negative, then we need to use not. Let's do some exercise and understand the uses of uh, present continuous tense. We use present continuous tense to express an action taking place at the time of speaking. This tense suggests that the action is not yet finished, that we are in middle of the action. Like some examples are written here. Someone is knocking at the door. Look, many people are coming to this side. Are you trying this question? Yes, I am. No, I am not. So dear student, you need to understand when any action is going on, when any action is in process, it's not completed by the time of speaking. For that action, you should use present continuous tense. Suppose I am teaching you now. Teaching action is not completed. It's still going on. For this, you need, for this I need to use present continuous tense. I can say that I am teaching now because action is going on. When I am saying the sentence, that time action is going on. So for this, we need to use present continuous tense. Suppose now you are studying that action is going on, action is in process, it is not completed. So for this, you need to use present continuous tense. You can say, I am studying, I am learning, right? Second point, to express a temporary action which may not be happening at the time of speaking. These days, we are looking for a new house. All the trains are arriving late. So, dear students, sometime for temporary action, we should use this tense when the action is not happening at the time of speaking. Suppose that in these days, you are making a computer a game, computer game or computer application, you are making that. And you go in a marriage and you meet someone. Suppose you meet to your uncle and your uncle asks you, what are you doing in these days? And you say that I am making a computer game in these days. I am making a computer game in these days. So at the time of speaking, you are enjoying the marriage. You are not making that computer game. But in, in these days or in those days, that work is going on. That work is in process. So ultimately, I want to say you that when action is going on in those days, but not the time of speaking for those actions, you can also use present continuous tense, right? Same as I have told you, as one example I have given you. Suppose I'm writing a book in these days and someone asks you, what are you doing? I say that I'm writing a book, but at a time of speaking, I'm not writing the book, I'm free. I don't have any pen and a notebook. Uh, I'm not writing anything, but, that work is going on in these days. That's why I can say I am writing a book, right? Now let's come on the exercise number six. Look at the picture and complete the passage which, with the present continuous tense of appropriate verb. Take verbs from the list given below. So dear students, some verbs are written here and you need to see the action. What means according to picture, you need to see which actions are going on. It's uh, like uh, read first verbs, cry, try, hold, band, watch, do, eat, hang, look, have. So you need to use these all the verbs in these fill-ups, right? Firstly, observe the picture. Okay, now we can write here. First is that, what are the children in the picture doing? So firstly, you can see that interrogation mark is there. So we need to make the question sentence. So we can mention here, what are the children? Children is third person plural. That's why we have mentioned here are, what are the children in picture doing? Doing is ing form because we have used here present continuous tense. A number of table are hanging from the ceiling. Number of tables are hanging from the ceiling. Four children, four children, four children are there. Four children are trying to catch them with their mouth. Four children are trying to catch them with their mouth. Next. They are holding their hands behind their back. They are holding, means they are keeping their hands behind their back. John, eagerly towards a hard-boiled egg. So we can say that 
John is eagerly looking towards a hard boiled egg, right? So dear students, in this way, you have to do this exercise. Some part I have told you and rest of you have to do. Now let's come on the E point, simple present or present continuous. View simple present for things in general. We use present continuous to express actions going on at a time of speaking, right? So these are all the things we have understood that for the general actions, we should use simple present tense and which actions are in process, which actions are not completed, still going on for those actions, we should use present continuous tense. For this timeline, we can understand that that's a timeline and TS means time of speaking, okay, or present moment, we can say. So simple present general statement, I play. So for those actions we can use, which we generally do that every day, like I play. Present continuous action in process, action start in the past and still going on and will end in the future. For that action, we need to use present continuous tense, this timeline, okay? Now let's come on the next page. Simple present or present continuous. Simple present habitual action and routine actions. Present continuous action going on at on at the time of speaking. Verb norm, normally not used in present continuous tense. Just in this point is very important to understand. These verbs are normally not used in present continuous tense. Verbs of sense, verbs of feelings and emotions, verbs of mental states and activity, verbs showing possession verbs some verbs other verbs are there okay so these verbs are not used in present continuous tense why these verbs are not used in present continuous tense reason are written here these verbs are like here see love like uh, respect no think suppose belong own appear seem measure so these verbs are not used in present continuous tense not so not in present in all the continuous tense why we can't use these verbs? Let's understand this. These verbs usually describe states rather than actions. And since there is a no action performed, there is nothing that can continue or stop. These verbs are also called non-action verbs or non-progressive verbs. If we use any of these verbs to describe an action which we can begin and stop, at will, we can use it in a present continuous tense. I think it is the right a state of mind. I am thinking hard. A controlled action, I begin to think I can stop it also. So now let's understand this all the these all the points in simple language. So dear students, these verbs we can't use in continuous tense. Why we can't use these verbs in continuous tense? So reason is simple that there is a no action in these verbs. Whatever happens, that happens automatically without the will, without the intention of the speaker, right? So that's why these verbs we can't use in the present means of continuous tense. I want to tell you something about this, like two verbs are there, like hear and listen. Here is written here. So hear and listen are having almost the same meaning, like we say in Hindi, sunna. But here is non-action verb and listen is action verb. Why? Because when we listen something intentionally, deliberately, according to our wish, that is action verb. We can say I was listening to songs, but we can, can't say I was hearing to song because when we hear something and we hear that something without intention, without our intuition or willingness, that is known action verb that happens automatically without our involvement. So that's why those action are called no, those verbs are called sorry, not known action verbs. That's why these all the verbs are called known action verbs. In this example, like you can see, I think he's right, I am thinking hard. So think if think word we take, and there are two meanings of think. One is consider and second is like state of mind. Think mean one, like in Hindi, we say that sochna, that's a 
action verb but lagna that is not action verb sometimes we say in hindi mujhe lagta hai wo aayega so lagna i think he will come in this we can't say that i am thinking because that's a known action verb but something on we like uh, consider in that case if we use think word then we can use in in conscious tense also like i can say that i am thinking hard main matter pe bahut hi zyada soch raha hu so for sochna we can say it like think but for lagna we can use think but that is known action verb clear and same with the have the verb have needs special care it can be used to mean uh, possesses it can be used in some other senses also whenever it is used to just possession we can use it only in the simple present tense so dear students have word like it has many meanings like for uh, showing the possession for experience for eating for taking for having we can use the have word but when we use this have word for, for possession we should not use in ing form means continuous tense but when we use this have word for getting experience for eating for taking for drinking we can use this word in present continuous tense like i have all these books at home so we can't say i i am having we can say i have all these books at home means i want to show the possession second the children are having much fun so children taking much fun children experience experiencing much fun so for experiencing meaning you can use have in ing form second she is having her lunch she is eating her lunch for the meaning of eating if you use having word that's okay that's fine that's right she has a severe headache means possession we have sh we have uh, shown here so we need to use base form root form we can't use ing form rachit is having his uh, bath so for this meaning of taking we have used so here we can use means i want to say that have word we can use when we have to sh uh, show the possession in ing form we can use when we want to show the meaning of have eating taking drinking experiencing for this for this meaning if you use ing form that's okay that's fine now look at the exercise number 7 the following passage is taken from the commentary given in the republic day prayed we write the passage putting the verb in simple present and present continuous tense so dear students this exercise you need to like uh, mention the present continuous tense and simple present tense according to the need of sentence one or two sentences i tell you and rest of you will have to do by yourself like we now approach the end of the prayer so we can say we are now approaching the end of the prayer next as you know the same we have to mention as you know every year the prayer ends we need to mention here ends because prayer is third person singular every year the prayer ends with the fly past by the iaf planes three planes after coming very close to very close to the saluting base where the president and chief guest are sitting are now shooting vertically towards right so soon i'll send the answer key first of all you should try to do and rest of part you should do by yourself come on the exercise number 8 given below are five group of sentences each group uh, consists of three sentences one of which is unacceptable cross the sentence which is unacceptable and rewrite it correctly oral discussion only uh, also please so five groups are there three sentences are written in all the in every group so one is wrong so please find that which is wrong so they are having their dinner they are fully agreeing so agreeing we can't use because that's a state of mind so this verb is non action verb so this sentence is wrong so we need to close here and rest of we need to take second this drum is containing very little oil so containing also that is a non progressive verb so this sentence is wrong and rest of sentences are right so in this way <coughs> wrong sentence you need to find out this in these groups okay rest of things we will discuss in the next class okay now if you want to